intent on milling the black pearl. And I thought I was to a phase where it was going to go quickly. And then I started trying to do some of these things and I've gotten a little bogged down. But let me give you some information on what's happened. Hopefully if you're building it, you will um, not experience some of the problems that I have because of what I've gone through. So basically what it came down to is there's these little posts that then a rail will sit on. I'm just using this as a, as a sample. And there'll be a slight gap there. Well, they're so tiny and there was a space. And after I got them glued in place, I really think that maybe there should have been two per little opening. And I'll show you that momentarily. But they're glued in place. It is going to work and it it's, uh, just sits under there nicely. So here are these little pieces and they're just a very small square and they were to fit in these little square holes. And I'm not going to be able to show that very well. Those were part G1 and that's a small G and then there's a part G15 that is cut at an angle and I think it's going to go in here where this is angled. And I marked them. And these, there's only two of them. And we can't quite tell. Well, maybe we can. They're at a little angle. I think that is so they go in here. I haven't found the instructions for that, but that makes sense to me. Then I'm not real pleased with the quality of the wood that is going to go on top. I thought it should be more finished. So I may take what was some of the original wood that came with the ship that's left over that was for planking. It's nice and thick. I'll be able to sand the edge and get a little rounded part to it. And a couple more coats of stain. I think that would look nicer. Now some places I won't be able to do that because there's shapes and things like that. I'm starting to prepare for some of the upper deck uh, struts and, and things that go around the edge. This is the lowercase h sheet and the corresponding pieces and I've cut all of these supports out but on the instructions it's page 10 and you can see where these will go through and they go at the front of the ship and they'll also go back here and these I'll have to sand to get them to fit a little bit. Okay, now you might be able to see the quality of the wood that is the top rail. It's just a little grainier than what I would like, and I think this, if I can focus on it, looks quite a bit better. Again, it needs another coat of stain. And I won't replace this, but I think down in this area here, this better quality of wood would wood would look much better. What I've determined is these upper uh, rails are in the category of lowercase b and this happens to be part number seven and to get these to line up I need to trim just a little bit off back here. And these have a little curvature to them, and I think it needs to curve towards the inside. Because when I did it towards the outside and guesstimated, it looks like it was going to hang outside the ship here. So the ship is actually moving inward. So let me just try and imagine where this would clip. I'll probably need a little more, but that'll get me started. And this does hang over some. There's one of these, um, let's see if I can find, okay, here it is. On panel H, these uh, circular things will rest on here, and it connects the two. So you do want it to hang over on these parts from panel H, these little milk jug shapes, I've got to get them so that they fit through this without breaking it. And even though this and I've 
uh, filed down some, it's not going to fit. So I'm going to go to work and I'll need a total of eight to be able to fit through here. And I've tried both directions, so let me try and sand these down. A couple of things and an error that I made back on lowercase h. I did not pay close enough attention to all of these number ones, h1. I didn't notice that there were six that were h7. And they are just slightly larger. Which probably explains why I had difficulty getting them in. So even though it's a subtle difference, it's mostly a difference in height. So I'm either going to have to make some, because of course out of the six I used two of them before I realized my error. So these are the struts that go uh, at the rail, both at the front and back of the ship. So something to be aware of. Regarding these H1 parts that will go on that rail, I am having to slice or shave the edges still to get it to fit. So I've just been taking the knife and slowly just taking some off. All four sides. And then I'll sand just a little. Once I'm sure they'll fit, then I'll restain it and I'm going to glue those in place before I put it on the, the ship itself. On my error of mistaking parts number H7 for H1 and actually using them, and they're really a little bit larger, I had to make four of them up. So I had two, and I took parts of the plaque 4H that were left over. You can see there's some space in here. And I've been able to cut those and make them. There are these pieces up here. Here's the original. Here's the original, and here's the new one. So they're very close, and I'll continue sanding those down. How I got that angle was um, taking the black piece and then marking on it where that little V starts. Let me get an original. And I made sure that I used the same grain. So it's that's the grain part. And that's what gets the edge. And it's, oh, just about a quarter, not even a quarter of an inch down. So I took the this almost triangular shaped file, and if I make it straight on the bottom edge, it gives it just about that right angle. After several different trials, I found that holding it with a pair of pliers, and first I tapered the edge just a little bit. Keep working away at it until finally it'll fit. So you can see I need to take a little more off. Let me show you one that I finished. And then that and slide, well that's not in the correct way. Let me turn it the correct way. There. I don't know if you can see the wedge, but it's right there. So I'll stain those and then glue them in place. And then glue them on the deck. That'll make up for, I think it's part number H7, that I accidentally used as H1. This is the area where H7, that I had to make the parts. This is the front of the ship. And they're here. The upper rail is B4, B as in boy, and you can see there's some, um, I think they're called belaying pins or something like that. Anyway, I purchased a packet of them, and like with everything, they're just the holes are just a little bit too small. So I'm going to have to try and drill these holes out just a hair bit larger 
because that pin needs to fit all the way down through there. Okay, I've gone to a slightly larger drill bit. And again, you have to be very delicate. See, that chipped off a little bit when I brushed it. So, but I'll restain that. And there, the, the belaying pin fits in nicely. So I'll very carefully and gently drill all these out. I have the lower part glued in place and the upper part still move up and down so what I've done is I put a little glue on it but then I need to hold it up so I took some straw straws plastic straws and it'll spring upward so I just kind of squeeze a little and that will apply gentle pressure pushing that bar up to the top right where I want it what I've decided to do for this upper rail on the sides of the ship is instead of using the the poorer quality thin wood I'm using some leftover that was for the original planking it's a, a little thicker a little nicer wood and then what I've done I don't want that square edge so I just took sandpaper and by hand so I could kind of shape it I'm rounding off I need to soak this because on this back end this has got to curve up so I'll use my plank bender once I get this soaked to bend this up just a little bit. Well on the back it'll be quite a bit because it'll come up and then there's one of these uh, round pieces that will go in there. Let's see if I can maybe show you. Okay before I can put this top rail on I need to get these pretty close to level so I just took a flat sanding block and gently went over the tops and got them pretty much even all the way across. Here's the rough end of the top rail that I've tried to put in place and you can see the little circular piece here. A little extra glue there. So, I will get the other side glued up and then I'll restain this edge here that I rounded off. The straws that I used to support this so it could stay up, it's dry now. I can take these little straw, just plastic straw pieces that I cut. Give you an idea of that look without the straws under it and everything else is coming along fine. <laughs>